Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Christ Compassion knew no limit. November 1. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Matthew 8.17 our Lord Jesus Christ came to this world as the unwearied servant of man's necessity. He took our infirmities and bare our sickness, that he might minister to every need of humanity. The burden of disease and wretchedness and sin he came to remove. It was his mission to bring to men complete restoration. He came to give them health and peace and perfection of character. Varied were the circumstances and needs of those who besought his aid, and none who came to him went away unhelped. From him flowed a stream of healing power, and in body and mind and soul, men were made whole. The Saviour's work was not restricted to any time or place. His compassion knew no limit. On so large a scale did he conduct his work of healing and teaching that there was no building or Palestine large enough to receive the multitudes that thronged to him. On the green hill slopes of Galilee, in the thoroughfares of travel, by the seashore, in the synagogues, and in every place where the sick could be brought to him, was to be found his hospital. In every city, every town, every village through which he passed, he laid his hands upon the afflicted ones and healed them. Wherever there were hearts ready to receive his message, he comforted them with the assurance of their heavenly Father's love. All day he ministered to those who came to him. In the evening he gave attention to such as through the day must toil to earn a pittance for the support of their families. Jesus carried the awful weight of responsibility for the salvation of men. He knew that unless there was a decided change in the principles and purposes of the human race, all would be lost. This was the burden of his soul, and none could appreciate the weight that rested upon him. Through childhood, youth, and manhood, he walked alone. Day by day, he met trials and temptations. Day by day, he was brought into contact with evil and witnessed its power upon those whom he was seeking to bless and to save. Yet, he did not fail nor become discouraged. He was always patient and cheerful, and the afflicted hailed him as a messenger of life and peace. He saw the needs of men and women, children and youth, and to all he gave the invitation, Come unto me. As he passed through the towns and cities, he was like a vital current, diffusing life and joy.